Good morning. My name is Gary Reinhardt. I'm the Exploration Manager with Buccaneer Resources here in Houston. And I want to talk to you today about uh, some of the work that we've demonstrated to you and talked with you before, plus what we've actually found in the recent drilling of the uh, number one Vic well in Lee County. You'll recall, uh, previously we talked about some new tech logs. And again, what I'd like to do is describe for you what new tech and their new luck product it, re it really is about. This log was, was done for us back in 2007. What they did is they took the old log data that was uh, run over 60 years ago at that time, and they've tried to put it in a format that would be equivalent to what we would be able to do today with modern logs. And what they w were able to find, of course, and what we highlighted for you in, in the past was some indications of hydrocarbon in the Austin Chalk and in the Buddha. And, uh, what we've d now done is drilled the well that was meant to offset this old Vic well we, with our number one Vic. And it was logged by Weatherford, provided the wireline services. We've asked Weatherford, of course, to take that data, which is very modern, the, it's the most modern we can get, uh, and then to tell us what they were able to find in the well bore based on these wireline tools. And what we found was, again, very good indications of hybrid carbon, particularly in the Austin, lower Austin chalk. And of real interest to us is the Eagleford, which was one of our original targets, and in the Buddha as well. For a closer look at the new tech log, I want to again focus on the Austin chalk interval here, and the Buddha interval here, and then the Eagleford interval, which is in between. And we'll see again that New Tech has what they call their various pay flags here and in here. And of course, in their 2007 model of this interpretation, there is no pay flag indication in the Eagleford. Again, we're seeing indications in the Buddha of hydrocarbon that is producible. And we're also seeing potential producible hydrocarbon here in the Austin chalk. This portion of the log, from NewTek's perspective, is their interpretation of these log data. And they're trying to take 1940s technology and present it in a similar form to what we would see if we were to do this today. Now we're going to look at our Weatherford log that also did an analysis on its data using modern tools and we'll compare the two where we see very little chatter in the resistivity curve in the new tech, we see a, a lot more detail in the newer modern tools, and that's because they're able to actually measure much thinner bed resolutions. But of real particular interest to us is that the new tech log predicted that we should have hydrocarbon in these rocks based even on the old logs that were run in 1947 and 48. The new data that we have, state of the art, Weatherford is basically repeating this information. This is the base of the chalk. This is the Eagleford. And this is the Buddha. And again, we see movable hydrocarbons. Weatherford is predicting that we could have up to 20% of these hydrocarbons actually able to flow into the well bore and very little movable water. The solid part of the curve here as we go this way is increasing oil saturation. On the old new tech logs, we were seeing increasing oil saturation. Here we're actually seeing in much more detail the increase in oil saturation. And in fact, that this entire section, which is over 200 feet, uh, indicates that it has hydrocarbon column. The Eagleford, which basically showed nothing of any particular interest in the 2007 new tech log, and now in the modern logs actually looks quite interesting. We had many shows while we were drilling through the Eagleford and in fact we think there is uh, some productive possibilities in the Eagleford as well which was one of the original reasons we went into the area. We're very encouraged by the Austin Chalk and Eagleford results of this well. This doesn't show as a pay flag here in the Eagleford because the Eagleford in this immediate vicinity has not been demonstrated to have pay. We anticipate that it's possible to make the Eagleford a reservoir in this part of the state. So in conclusion then, let's, let's examine what we've, what we've looked at. The new tech technology is exactly that. It's technology applied to old wireline data. 
That technology gave us some indications that there was, in fact, producible hydrocarbon in the Austin Chalk and in the Buddha formations in the number one Bic well drilled in the late 40s. Now what we've done is we actually have real data. It's not an interpretation of the data, it's real log data that uh, has been recorded by Weatherford in our well that was an offset to this number one Bic and we see again a affirmation of what we thought we saw in the new tech well which is producible hydrocarbon in the lower Austin chalk and of continued interest uh, it, this well actually confirmed our interest in the Eagleford. We now see that it actually has some zones that we're going to be wanting to pay a whole lot more attention to in the near future. What we need to do now is we know that the samples had oil in them. The wireline logs are indicating that we have producible oil as well in this interval. And now we need to complete the well to have it flow oil. This is not a forward statement about how good that well might be or at what rate it might produce, but we've gotten the results that we expected to have, which was to demonstrate that we had hydrocarbons here, and the data we have right now encourages us to continue this program. Thank you.